Tonight, Kalamazoo City Commissioners took another look at a proposed piece of ARPA funding intended to redesign the Arcadia Creek Festival site. It comes after pushback forced them to separate it from the original budget. News 8's David Horak has been following this story. He has an update for us tonight from our Kalamazoo studio. David. Well, first, Bryan City leaders addressed those prior concerns from some residents who believe the site's $1.6 million redesign would install fencing with locking gates to keep out the unhoused, using it for shelter. It never has been a plan. So I'm, I'm sorry that there was misinformation about that. Instead, Assistant City Manager Rebecca Kick explained that the fencing is temporary, storable, and city-owned, all as a cost incentive for event planners wanting to use the Arcadia Creek Festival site. It would just be part of the ongoing cost, as opposed to that event producer having to pay for the rental of the festival site, the cleaning of the festival site, and the fencing, and... Um, Again, blocking off the street, that's also very expensive. And so all the costs add up. Kick said short-term goals for the 20-year-old site would also address failing infrastructure, including demolishing the pedestrian bridge, given its maintenance being behind schedule. We have lighting that is damaged. We have a stage that doesn't meet national um, act sort of standards any longer. Our pavilion isn't well used. We had to demolish the playground because um, the pieces and parts that are um, were part of that initial playground are no longer sold. Drawings were also unveiled for the site's redesign, which includes perimeter seating, created play area, an amphitheater near the creek's waters, mixed use housing, and a pavilion. We're actually gaining space because we're utilizing the acreage better in this particular um, configuration. Not everyone is completely on board, including City Commissioner Don Cooney. You got a million six hundred thousand dollars here. Mm -hmm. do, do I want to vote to put it into this or do I want to vote to put it into the homes? That's yeah. my dilemma. But others work. What do we want to say to everybody who's coming to our community? Is this a place you want to visit, uh, live or whatever? Or is this a place that you know, we're taking care of a lot of the challenges and our vibrant place to live. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's that's what we want to show the world, that we can do a lot of hard things mm -hmm. simultaneously. With that, the city commission plans to reintroduce the $1.6 million line item for approval at their next meeting two weeks from tonight. That's February 16th. If construction goes on as scheduled, Kick says phase one should be completed by April 2026. We're live in our Kalamazoo studio. David Horak, News 8. Brian.